KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. Welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss exercise 1.1 in rational numbers in 8th class mathematics. Right? Yes, before doing these sums, yours, please subscribe my YouTube channel, those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's go through this. Yeah. This is the first part of the video exercise 1.1. question in exercise 1.1 using appropriate properties find first one minus 2 by 3 into 3 by 5 plus 5 by 2 minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6 second one 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7 minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2 plus 1 by 14 into 2 by 5 so using appropriate properties we have to find the values find these values right yes let us do one by one so first one so first one solution C, take this minus 2 by 3 into 3 by 5 plus 5 by 2 minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6, right? Yes. Look here. Here, this is according to Bodmas rule only. We have to find these values, right? Yes. Look here. This is one term, this is another term and this is another term numerical terms these are all yes here numerator 3 denominator 3 will be cancelled now yeah so this is minus 2 into this will be 1 by 5 next plus this is 5 by 2 minus here in numerator 3 in denominator 6 how many times get cancelled 3 ones are 3 twos are this is 1 by 5 into 1 by 2 right yes here look here in the first term itself uh, 1 by 5 is there in the last term 1 by 5 is there so rearrange these uh, numerical expressions those that is minus t into 1 by 5 next here this one write down minus 1 by 5 into 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2 so we have rearranged no rearranged means which property is including this Yes, which property is included in this? Yes, here a plus b is equal to a plus b is equal to b plus a means which property? This is commutative property. So we have re rearranged these terms, no? So write on commutative, commutative property. Right? Yeah. So look here. So in these two terms, 1 by 5 is the common. 1 by 5 is the common. So, do 1 by 5 as common. So, what is the remaining part here? Minus 2. Here, minus 1 by 2. Plus 5 by 2 is there. See, look here. Again, which property is included in this? See, 1 by 5 is a common one now. So, here, A into B plus A into C. Means, a into B plus A into C means it is also can be written as A into B plus C. So this is distributive property here. Which property? Yes, distributive. Distributive property is included in this. Right? Yes. Look here. This is 1 by 5 into this will be 2 into 2, 4. Minus C is there. Minus 4 minus 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2. Can we write like this or not? Yes. See, 2 2 is a 4. 2 into 2, 4 minus 4 minus 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2. So this is 1 by 5 into minus 4 minus 1. Yes, minus 5. Minus 5 by 2 plus 5 by 2. Here we should not uh, cancel these both. Why? Because according to Bartmoss rule only, we have to do. So, this is one term and this is totally another term, this one. So, minus 5 by 2 plus 5 by 2, we should not cancel, right? Yes. Look here. This is one term, no? So, 5 in denominator, 5 in numerator will be cancelled one time, one time like that. So, this is 1, 1 is a 1. So, minus 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2. This is 
Here LCM is same, no? So this is 2 minus 1 plus 5. That is equal to 5 minus 1 will be? Yes, 4. 4 by 2 is equal to 2. So the value of this total expression minus 2 by 3 into 3 by 5 plus 5 by 2 minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6 is 2. Have you understood? Yes. Let us do this one also. Right? Yeah. Look here, this is 2 by 5 into solution, write down 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7 minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2 plus 1 by 14 into 2 by 5. Right? See, this is into is there, here also into is there, here also into is there. This is one term, another term, another term. Right? Yes. Rearrange the terms. Why? Because here first term itself, 2 by 5 is there. Last term itself also 2 by 5 is there. So rearrange this. 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7 plus 1 by 14 into 2 by 5 minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2. Right. We have rearranged you now. Right. Yes. So that's a, which property is included in this. Yes. Commutative. Commutative property. Right. Yeah. Look here. In these both, 2 by 5 is the common. So, if you do 2 by 5 as common, the remaining part is here minus 3 by 7. Here plus 1 by 14 is there. Minus. Look here. In these both, 3 ones are th 3, ones are 3, 3 twos are 6. 1 into 1 is 1, 2 twos are 4. So, which property, according to which property I have written this? Yes, distributive property or distributive law. Distributive. Distributive property. Yes, this is 2 by 5 into, yes, what is the LCM of 7 and 14? Yes, 14 is the LCM. Right on. 7, how many times get cancelled in 14? Yes, 2 times. 2 into 3, yes, minus 6. Plus 14, 1 time, 1 ones are 1. Minus 1 by 4. Right? Yes, this is 2 by 5 into minus 6 plus 1. Yes, minus 5. Minus 5 by 14 minus 1 by 4. Right? Here, in numerator 5, 5, denominator 5 will be cancelled. This is next 2 1s are 2 7s are. So, here, remaining part is 1 into 1. This here minus is there. Minus 1 by 7 minus 1 by 4. Isn't it? Minus 1 by 7 is there. Minus 1 by 4 is there. So what is the LCM of these two? These two? Yes, 7 fours are. These are co-primes now. So 7 fours are 28. This is equal to 28. 7 4 times. 4 into minus 1. Minus 4 minus. 4 7 times. 7 ones are 7. So that is equal to minus 4 minus 7 will be minus 11 by 28. So if you find the value of the given expression, you will get minus 11 by 28. Have you understood clearly? Yes, note it down. Next question, write the additive inverse of each of the following. Write the additive inverse of each of the following. Here questions here are given like this. 2 by 8 minus 5 by 9. Minus 6 by minus 5. 2 by minus 9. 19 by minus 6. We have to find the additive inverse of these numbers. Right. Suppose A is there. What is it additive inverse? Yes. What is it? Minus A. Additive inverse. Additive inverse of A is minus A. Which means... So the number which we should add to this one makes 0. Right. So if we add uh, e minus a to a, we'll get 0 or not. Right. So in the same way, we have to find the additive inverse of these all numbers, which means we have to change the symbols. Right. Yes. See, additive, additive inverse of Add to inverse of first one 2 by 8 is 
So how much we should add to 2 by 8 to get 0? Yes, exactly. Minus 2 by 8. Isn't it? Yes, second one. Add to inverse of, simply I'm writing. So while you are writing notes, you, you should write completely. Add to inverse of minus 5 by 9. Yes. So how much we should add to get 0? Yes. This is, change the symbol. This is 5 by 9. Isn't it? Yes. Third one. Add to inverse of minus 6 by minus 5. Look here. Here minus for numerator and denominator. Minus is there. So if you cancel these both, you will get a 6 by 5 only. Isn't it? So what is the added inverse of this 6 by 5? It's exactly minus 6 by 5. Right. Minus 6 by minus 5, 5 means it will be 6 by 5 only. Isn't it? Yeah. So fourth one. Next, add it to inverse of 2 by minus 9. 2 by minus 9. Actually, we should write uh, this one on the numerator only. Yes, in the numerator itself. Minus 2 by 9, this will be is s plus 2 by 9. Isn't it? Yes. Fifth one, add it to inverse of 19 by minus 6. It is also nothing but minus 19 by 6. Yes, yes, plus 19 by 6 only. Have you understood clearly? Yes, note it down. Next third question. Verify that minus of minus x is equal to x for x is equal to 11 by 15 and second one x is equal to minus 13 by 17. Right? Let us verify. So, minus of minus x is equal to x, we have to prove, yeah. Solution, yeah, first one take x is equal to 11 by 15 has given, right? So, what we have to take minus of minus x is equal to x, isn't it? Yes. So, in the place of x, we have to substitute this one. Take LHS first, minus of minus x only, that is equal to minus of minus 11 by 15 isn't it minus of minus 11 by 15 that is equal to minus into minus plus 11 by 15 isn't it minus into minus plus 11 by 15 so this is equal to x is x we have got or not x only right minus of minus x we have taken so finally we have got x so therefore that is equal to rhs isn't it? Therefore, minus of minus x is equal to x is verified, verified for x is equal to 11 by 15. Isn't it? Yes. In the same way, second one. x is equal to minus 13 by 17 has given, right? Yes. Minus 13 by 17. x is equal to minus 13 by 17. What we have to prove minus of minus x is equal to x only. Take LHS left hand side. So minus of minus x. Which means minus of. Look here. This is minus in the place of x what has given? 13 by 17. Minus 13 by 17. Yes. Minus 13 by 17. Isn't it? That is equal to minus. Into minus into minus will be? Yes. Plus. So that is 13 by 17, which means minus 13 by 17. Minus 13 by 17 means x we have got, right? Yes, that is equal to x. So we have taken LHS, that is equal to RHS, we have got, right? So therefore, minus of minus x is equal to x verified, verified for x is equal to minus 13 by 17. Have you understood clearly? Yes, note it down. Next fourth question. Find the multiplicative inverse of the following. Minus 13, minus 13 by 19, 1 by 5, minus 5 by 8, into minus 3 by 7, minus 1 into minus 2 by 5, and 6 1, minus 1. 
right we have to find the multiplicate inverse so what is the multiplicate inverse of a what is the multiplicate inverse of a is yes 1 by a multiplicate inverse of suppose 1 by a is there what is its multiplicate inverse it will be a suppose a by b is there a by b what is its multiplicate inverse yes is b by a isn't it suppose minus a by b is there what is its multiplicate inverse yes symbol we should not change but the position of the numbers we should change that is minus b by a isn't it so which means multiplicate inverse means the number which should be multiplied with the uh, given number we should get uh, one only so multiplicate identity is one only na yes according to that we have to do this yes yes first one multiplicative multiplicative inverse of inverse of see minus 13 is yes minus 13 means yes minus symbol only we have to write minus 1 by 13 reciprocal it is also called a reciprocal right so the minus 13 is minus 1 by 13 only 13 means 1 by 13 only we should write so as it is symbols we should write in multiplicative inverse isn't it yeah second one see multiplicate inverse short form i am writing of minus 13 by 19 is yes what is that yes minus 19 by 13 right so 19 we should write in numerator and 13 we should write in denominator understood yeah so third one multiplicate inverse of 1 by 5 is what yes 5 by 1 so we have to change the positions of the numerator and denominator also so it is also or simply 5 isn't it yeah so this is third one this is fourth one my multiplicative multiplicative inverse of minus 5 by 8 into minus 3 by 7 look here minus 5 by 8 into minus 3 by 7 how should write look here this is minus into minus plus 5 3 is a 15 by 8 7 is a 56 right 15 by 56 actually this one is yes 56 by 15 only otherwise how can you write this will be minus 8 by 5 otherwise how can you write minus 8 by 5 into into minus 7 by 3 also we can write this will be minus into minus plus 8 7 is a 56 5 3 is a 15 like that also we can write understood yeah so fifth one next my multiplicative inverse of minus 1 into minus 2 by 5 so this is minus into minus plus 1 2 is a 2 2 by 5 is what is that 5 by 2 reciprocal only la? 2 by 5 is 5 by 2 right yes sixth one multiplicate inverse of minus 1 is yes what is the multiplicate inverse of minus 1 is yes look here 1 by uh, minus 1 by 1 this will be minus 1 only isn't it so if you multiply minus 1 with minus 1 you get uh, 0 uh, 1 or not is yes, exactly yes so multiplicate inverse of minus 1 is minus 1 have you understood note it down okay viewers if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you very much